Hi, everyone. So to start, I thought I'd tell you a bit about my journey to, un to university. In high school, I found that there were two types of students. Those who knew exactly what degree and what career they wanted, and those that, well, weren't quite as sure. And I was definitely the latter. I knew I was good at maths, and I enjoyed chemistry and physics, but I had no idea what I wanted to do for the rest of my life, and I found that a really daunting question to answer. In the end, I decided to try a science degree. I didn't know what major to choose or where I'd end up, but I hoped that I could just figure it out along the way. And I did. I found that once I was at uni, I quickly found out what I did and didn't like and what I was really passionate about. And I'm now in my sixth year at UNSW, completing my PhD in chemistry. Uni is a lot different to school. There is so much more freedom and a much more diverse range of subjects to choose from. So don't stress, you don't need to have it all figured out before you get here. So there are two key pieces of advice I have for you. Firstly, get involved. I know it sounds a bit corny, but you only get out of uni what you put in. And there are so many opportunities available at UNSW. ARC, our student organisation, has a range of sporting clubs, including football, golf, yoga, the Circus Society and the Underwater Club, as well as many academic societies. So there's one for all the different schools in the university who will organise events such as trivia nights, free barbecues, industry networking events, and formal balls and harbour cruises where everyone that's doing a similar degree can get together. There are also a number of other clubs ranging from the Baking Club, the Red Cross Society, the Quidditch Society, where they actually play games, um, the My Little Pony Club, and the Hide and Seek Club. The university experience is much more than just your degree. So get involved, have fun, and make friends. And point two, make friends with your lecturers and take advantage of the many academic opportunities available to you. Chat to the ac academics, ask about doing research projects in their labs, some are volunteer and some actually count as subjects. And keep an eye out for any industry internships that are available and consider doing one of the many summer research scholarships that the uni offers. These involve doing a six week research project in one of the labs at UNSW where you actually have your own mini research um, project to complete. And also consider doing an exchange program where you complete a semester of your degree at one of the many partner universities around the world. These are a lot of fun and a great experience. So that was a bit about uni life. But when I was in the position that you are now, what my main thought was on is what career I would get with a science degree. And there are such a wide range of careers to choose from. So I thought the best way to address this was to tell you a bit about some of my friends that have completed a science degree and where they are now. So to start with, quite a few of us have stayed on to do our PhDs. If I can work this, great. Okay, so Andrew is doing his PhD at the Garvin Institute, where he's looking for a cure for HIV. Alex is trying to make an artificial human cell so that we can better understand the complex cellular machinery that allows our bodies to work, which will hopefully provide insight into the origin of life on Earth. Laura is investigating aggressive forms of breast cancer, trying to understand which genes are activated and which are silenced within the tumours. So this was the research side of things, but what if research isn't for you? So Steve worked for Questacon as an education and outreach officer, presenting hands-on science shows at primary, high, high, primary and high schools and public events. Uh, Matt works for, the, for Sydney Water at a wastewater treatment plant. So his work revolves around managing the different purification processes in the plant. And he's currently completing his training to become a dive master um, so that you can become involved with the team that manage and assess the impact on the surrounding marine environment. Uh, Shari works for a bush regeneration company, as well as working for WIRES, which is the Wildlife Information Rescue and Education Service, um, where she rescues and looks after injured wildlife. And during her, um, when she was at uni, she also worked at Taronga Zoo. Uh, Adam works for a contract research organisation who perform clinical trials on new pharmaceutical drugs before they go on the market. So his job is not in the lab, but he is focused around the administration and legal aspects of the pharmaceutical industry. Malak always thought she wanted to get into research, but during uni, she got a part-time job at a community radio station hosting a science segment where she interviews scientists and discusses any recent discoveries. 
Through this, she realised how much she loved communicating and teaching science, and she is now completing her graduate diploma in education at UNSW so that she can be a science teacher. And finally, here we go, Rob works for Orica. It's an Australian chemical company and he works at a Sydney plant where salt is extracted from the ocean and used to produce many different chemicals, including those used to purify drinking water. So that is just a snapshot of some of the exciting places that a science degree can take you. So good luck with everything. If you have any questions at all, feel free to talk to myself or any of the other science student ambassadors that are here tonight. Thanks.